Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So today is going to be a request video. This is a request from Sandra who sent me a message on my Facebook page. Um, I will link that down below so you guys can find me if you want to do the same thing. Um, Sandra has requested that I make the paper gem that's in this one, which is slightly different to the one that I've done before, which I did a really long time ago and I don't remember which paper book it came out of. Um, but I'll link it down below because I can find it. Um, so I'm going to do that for her. This is out of the Van Scat Paper Lovers book and it's out of the cute range at the back. Um, this one's out of cardboard, whereas I think the old one used to be out of paper. So it is slightly different. But I'm just going to go reasonably slowly with this one because I think I went a bit fast last time. So I am learning things. So I'm just pulling it out of the book. I'll just put the book over to the side. So as I said, it is cardboard this time. So I'm just going to start off by gently popping the main shape out as best I can. Trying really hard not to rip it. In fact, I am 99% sure that last time was, was paper. I don't remember it being this stiff last time. So we'll go with it was paper. go so we just put you can keep that if you want to honestly I'm probably never going to use that oh maybe I don't know I'll put it off to the side and I'll think about it afterwards um but the instructions there say to number one gently punch out the shape and then fold on the scored line so I'm going to go ahead and fold all of these and I'll be back in just a second So that's all of the bits folded and then what it says is to use double sided tape and on the tabs and fold together to make your paper gem. So just because this is me and I'm a bit not sure how this all comes together, I'm just going to sort of practice it first. So I'm just sort of going to fold all these in. See if I can work out how this actually goes together. Okay, I think I've got it. I think it actually comes out looking like an actual gem. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put all the tape on. So I'm just using um, just glue tape from Officeworks. Fingers crossed I'm putting these all on the right places. So I'm just putting it all over the actual tab bits, trying to see if I'm missing any, which I think that is one too, so I'm going to put it down there as well. So I'm going to start with that one, and then just pressing it together to make sure it's stuck. lining these up as best I can. It is a little fiddly. It is a little fiddly. That doesn't, oh, you know, maybe it does. thought for a minute that wasn't going to line up, but it is. This is definitely different from the last one I've done. This wasn't the other one was very, very different to this. I actually think I've done two. I think I've done a little, little paper jam and then a sort of bigger one. So I will link them both down below, but these are definitely, definitely different. I actually think I like this one better. I'm not quite sure what you're going to use it for, but, but yeah, it is much, it is pretty cool. But yeah, just not quite sure what I'm going to use it for. And that's the last one there go so that is very cool I think it looks better that way um, you obviously could use this to put um, lollies in or put paper in whoops dropping it um, it is very cool like sounds very hollow but 
No, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of that. I just don't know what I'm going to use it for. It might just be paper, might be decoration on my desk for a little while. Uh, but that is the paper gem. Thank you very, very much to Sandra for requesting this one. I'm going to do a couple of crafts in the next couple of weeks out of the Paper Lovers books just to get a bit more use out of them. No point having them and not using them. So we're going to do some bits and pieces out of there. If you did like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. If there's anything you'd like to see from the Paper Lovers books or anything in general, you can send me a message on Facebook, Instagram or Snapchat. I will link all of my social media links down below. If you haven't already please subscribe so you don't miss any videos and other than that I will see you again very very soon. Thanks a lot. Bye!